you don't want the smoke They go right to your nose Then straight to the dome Now you a ghost I swear you a joke Yo, what's good, gang? It's the homie Jojo back for another video And today we gonna be talking about Sofago's Pink Hearts album And if it's still high anticipated And I'm pretty sure you guys heard about that album title Literally, in 2021, like maybe around the summertime I feel like it was one of the most high anticipated albums Especially coming from somebody who just broke out from the underground But after that, we really didn't get no news on it No singles from it, realistically So I feel like the high like low-key died down but i want to see what you guys think about it and i'm going to be talking about it you feel me before we get into the video man make sure you like comment and subscribe and also follow my instagram at jojo scout underscore it's always lit man let's get right into it so about like two days ago or something bob Land made a video talking about if pink hearts is still like high anticipated i guess you can say bro like people genuinely still care about it and if like you know what i'm saying it's still gonna do well when or if it drops you feel me and he was basically stating facts inside of that video now so fago didn't like it at all and apparently he went to his twitter and tweeted at him and said the most corniest thing he called him boobalam me personally i'm still angry about that bro like at night i really be shaking out of my sleep that's how corny it was bro I don't appreciate how corny that was, Sofago, but then Bobbalan made a response video and was just going in straight up. He was just talking about like, yo, you let everybody surpass you when you had the most hype out of anybody, bro. And if he was to drop that album, it would have did better than Yeats to Alive album that recently just dropped. And I personally agree with that, you feel me? Me personally, I feel like Sofago, if he had dropped the Pink Hearts album before 2022, maybe sometime around October, it would have sold at least 40k first week. Just off the simple fact he had the most hype around his name than anyone inside of the industry. He could have got some legendary collabs on there, especially since he was signed to Travis Scott. Man, that album would have been so beautiful, dog. Like, I honestly don't give Sofago any excuses at all for his actions, dog, because Bob Lynn was talking about like, yo, when you sign to an artist, they don't control your release date of dropping and all that. And I was like, hmm, I don't know 100% if Bob Lynn was right on that part. Just off the simple fact, the whole entire Astro Fest situation, I feel like that pushed back everybody on Cactus Jack's records, like dropping dates and all that. But if that's not true, and Sofago is genuinely just working on the quality of the music, and that's the reason why he hasn't been dropping, then shame on you, dog. Shame on you for real, for real. Because you let something so good slip out of your hands, bro. You let something so good slip out of your hands because, like I said, it would have so good first week. Now he's trying to build up the hype for it again and nobody's hyped for it, bruh. If we all being realistic, the only people that's hyped for it is like diehard Sofago fans. But I remember back then, like a few months ago, it was literally the whole entire industry. You didn't even have to be a Sofago fan. You was just interested and entertained about what he was doing now it's just not there you know what i'm saying bro like here's my thing about artists not dropping they try to be like playboy cardi or lil uzi Vert or whatever but they have to understand you're not them you're not them if you don't drop consistently you're gonna let a 14 year old kid like baby santana or something surpass you it, that kind of sounds sad tell me not tell me i'm tripping that sounds sad to me just because you're trying to be like the cool kids and not dropping something mysterious or whatever bro nobody cares about that take notes from yeet someone who literally surpassed you you was 10 times bigger than yeet and then yeet literally swooped in like a hawk and took over the throne of not even the underground but the upcoming artist i feel like he's even solidified right now you feel me just because he's dropping consistently he's doing consistent shows and He's feeding the fans with good quality music. That proves that, bro, you don't have to wait a few months just to drop quality music. If that's the case, then making music ain't for you because there are people literally dropping every single week. And if you ask me, that's quality music. Like Jace, for instance, that's quality music. You feel me? Like, I don't know. So Fago just full of excuses. And he let this album get all the anticipation low you feel me it was just high a second ago how do you make it go low and now so fago's on his ig story talking about bro pink hearts is gonna solve all the world war that's going on i'm like bro stop trying to sound like chief keef or something bro it's not gonna be that good bro yeah pink hearts is gonna be solid but i promise you first of all it's not even gonna be as big or it's not even gonna sound as good as other artists album that has been dropping consistently you feel me 
that's just it. He went on Montreality, you know, the little interview channel based out in Canada or whatever. He was talking about the Pink Hearts album dropping. Like, why is he now trying to build up the hype for the album? I promise you, people care, but not as much as you think would, you feel me? Not as much as back then. Like, honestly, if we're all being honest, I feel like we can all agree. The Pink Hearts album lost its high anticipation. I'm sorry to tell you, Sofago, but you had a good thing going and you really messed that up for yourself. Not saying that he can't drop the Pink Hearts album, then after that, start dropping consistent, then build up his name again. I'm not saying he can't do that, but as of right now, it's not looking good, bro. It really isn't looking good. And I feel like if we're all being realistic, we can agree to what I'm saying. But that's just my thoughts and opinions on it, man. I want to hear you guys' thoughts on it in the comment section down below. So go ahead, comment whatever you guys is thinking. And also, like and subscribe for more hip-hop content all the time. You don't want to miss out on it. If you don't believe me, go binge watch my other videos. I've been dropping bangers on bangers on bangers. Stop playing with my top. Also, follow the IG at Jojo Scout underscore. We always getting lit on there. I promise you that, too. Yeah, man. Fufu Gang, Rapport Lifestyle, Fufu Hunted, Fufu Block. You already know that's Fufu Industries, realistically. But I'm going to see you guys. Okay.